the diary of my grandma Fanny, September the 10th, 1942. Today I planted the fall string beans, spinach, and lettuce, and some radishes. everyone and welcome to Homestead Tessie. Today is Monday and that means Cheat Meal Monday. A subscriber last year gave me this recipe and we're going to have tater tot casserole. Now this is a real comfort food. It's really cheap and it's really easy to make. And I'm also going to add a little twist to it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take one pound of ground beef and saute that with a little bit of onion. And when that's done we're going to make sure we drain it really well and then we're going to assemble our casserole. So, as you see, we have one pound of ground beef that's sauteed and drained. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tilt my camera down and show you what it looks like. One pound of ground beef that was sauteed with half of an onion. And we drained the fat off of it. To that, we're going to add one pint of our green beans, drained. We're going to stir it just like that. We're going to layer this on the bottom of our casserole dish that is greased. A can of cream of mushroom soup. And we're going to add about a half of a can of milk. Now she said water, but I like it a little richer, so we're going to add milk. About a half of a can. I also like my soups a little thicker than what some do. So we're going to stir this up really well. I take one package of tater tots and we're going to layer it on the top. Now there's a burnt one, we're not going to use that one. My chickens will like that. In fact, I'm going to see if I can get the whole package in here. So we're just going to lay it right on top like this. And I'm going to add a little bit of cheddar cheese. Now we're going to go ahead and take our cream soup and we are going to pour it over the top. We're going to bake this at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. When the tater tots are all golden brown, we'll take it out and put some more cheese on top and put it back in the oven for 5 minutes. I'll get back to you when it's all baked and we'll see how it tastes. Here you go my friends, take a look. It looks really good. I put some more cheese on it and put it back in for 5 minutes. So let's give it a test and see how it tastes. I really like it adding the green beans to it. I think that made it really good. It gave a little more substance to it. That's what it looks like. Add just a little bit of my seasonings. We're going to give it a taste. Now some people would eat it with a little bit of ketchup on top. Even a little salsa would be good on top. I'm going to have it just like this. Really cheesy. Potatoes, green beans, and some ground beef. Wow, this is amazing. So, my friends, if you want to give this a try, put some of the green beans in it. Once again, the recipe is this. One pound of ground beef with one half of an onion sauteed. Drain the ground beef and put it on the bottom of a casserole dish. tater tots on top. Layer them in one single layer. Take one can of cream and mushroom soup and add a half a can of milk to it. Stir it together and pour it on top. You can add two layers of cheese or just add cheese on the top. 
I added two layers of cheese because as I always say, cheese makes things good. Mm -mm. This is an amazing comfort food. As you see, I did not add any salt and pepper to it. Honestly, the tater tots have a little salt and the cheddar cheese, you don't need to add salt to this casserole. This is a winner. If you don't like green beans, you can add any other kind of vegetable. Maybe you want to try some peas. Maybe you want to try some carrots. Really, it's good if you add the vegetables in it. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.